Hello and welcome to St. Thomas More 2021 Virtual Gala at Washington State University. My name is Brennan McCauley. I am the Director of Evangelization and Theology at St. Thomas More, and I will be your host for this event. Pour yourself a glass of wine, sit back, and relax. Washington State University, sitting atop the rolling Palouse Hills in beautiful Pullman, is home to more than 20,000 students, nearly 2,000 faculty members, and boasts over 200 majors. The school is one big family, and the Cougars live fast and hard. Spring 2020 began as any other month at WSU with classes, intramurals, and club events in full swing. Greek Row was booming, dorms were packed, and the dining halls were riddled with laughter. Then everything changed. On March 11, 2020, WSU announced that due to the COVID-19 pandemic, when spring break was over, classes would no longer resume in person, and students were urged to stay home. The streets were emptied, all learning was done through a screen. Students were boarded up in their homes and the coup roar was silenced. The semester went on without mom's weekend or graduation, without joys or excitement, and everyone looked to summer break to some sense of relief and hoped that the next semester would be better. But August rolled around and nothing had changed, except that society had been stuck in this situation for six months and people were broken down by anxieties and fears. One place held out for the returning WSU students. With all the restaurants and student union buildings closed, the St. Thomas More Catholic Student Center became a light on College Hill. Because of the challenges faced by the current generation of Cougs, we created a new mission statement this year to be a light on the hill that fosters an atmosphere of healing, hope, and purpose to the WSU students through the person of Jesus Christ. Over the past year, we have been inviting our students to listen to Jesus' first words in the Gospel of John. Today, we would like you to consider these words as well. Jesus asked his future apostles, what are you looking for? Jesus gets in touch with the deepest desires of man. We are seekers of love and life. In return, they asked Jesus, where are you staying? And he replied, come and see. We are inviting you to come and see what we are doing at St. Thomas More, not just during the pandemic, but when things are normal. We first want to thank the pastors, parents, and students from previous years for all the hard work you have done in building this center. We stand on the foundation you laid, and because of you, this place is growing and becoming more. In this event, we will share testimonies of what students saw when they encountered Christ and how the Lord gave them sight when they were once blind. We will have a round table discussion on the college culture between myself, our chaplain, Father Paul Herrick, and Alexandra Shipley, our leader of women's ministry. But before that, we would like to share some important changes we made this year. Last summer, St. Thomas More welcomed a new pastor, Father Paul Herrick, who had big plans brewing in his mind for how to reinvigorate the Catholic community at WSU. To our delight, he decided to renovate our social hall, turning it into a coffee shop-like area where students can gather to study, eat, and just hang out in a comfortable environment. Right across the hall from our coffee shop is our chapel, which is in the development stages of renovation. Students come and go all day here to say hello to Jesus, the one who reveals to them who they are. Another big change to the center was the students' exposure to Pope St. John Paul the Great's Theology of the Body, which is a collection of talks he gave on what it means to be human, specifically in our creation as male and female. I was brought onto the staff this year to teach on these matters, which included a Theology of the Body on tap for graduate students and weekly book study with 30 to 40 students to discuss the beauty of God, sex, and the meaning of life. We have seen an amazing increase in participation and a noticeable vibrancy in our students' spiritual lives. We have almost doubled the participation from 20 to 40 students at our weekly programming events, and mass attendance has gone up roughly 40%. We are not just providing a clubhouse here on the campus, but as Pope Francis calls it, a field hospital for the sick and the lost. Cougs strive for excellence in all aspects of life, with academics, jobs on campus, internship prospects, club obligations, and social life. At St. Thomas More, we are calling for excellence in the most important aspect of life, 
our calling to discover ourselves as beloved sons or daughters of God. We are proud to have a diverse group of students that all come together in Jesus' name, breaking through the boundaries of various social frameworks. Some of these students here are athletes. As a member of the Pac-12, WSU certainly loves its athletics. So let's hear from some of our student athletes about their experience at St. Thomas More this year. Everybody struggles and people who don't necessarily have the greatest guidance struggle the most. As Catholics, we're called to live in a different way, called to live in a way of service. There's sin out there and there's a lot of temptation that I got caught up with in my first two years. The biggest thing for me was, you know, trying to find my faith. I have found hope here kind of as in a home away from home. Meeting some of these friends at church like really made me feel like they had my back, and that I wasn't just like struggling alone by myself. And that was truly the hope of fellowship and the hope of community here. A lot of people introduced themselves to me and were just trying to get to know me better. It's not something I'd really ever experienced before. And I see the work that they put in, the way they pray for each other and care for each other, and it's great. I found such a connection here that I call this place my church right now. Each week is something different that we're doing, whether it's a game or praise and worship, digging into the Bible or just having people talk. Hopefully I can make a lot of money playing in the NFL and donate some money back here because it's really made an impact on my life. I want to do more with my life than just like be an athlete. It's really important for me to have the balance of life and understanding that I have value and life outside of my sport. Sitting right in the middle of Greek Row, St. Thomas More is here to bring healing to those students suffering the consequences of the poor choices they have made in their pursuit of worldly happiness. We will next have a few of our Greek students speak on what this center has done for their lives. I grew up Catholic my whole life. For a little while, I wasn't practicing. I was still here at WSU, but I wasn't going to church or anything like that. Over this past winter break, I really knew I needed to start going back. My first inclination was to come to the Newman Center. I would definitely say I have been fully entrenched in the Greek life scene, particularly my freshman year of college. Really struggled with how I wanted to be perceived by men in contrast to my religious values. And I found that the men at the Newman Center actually see me as a person. I have gone to the talks on natural family planning, and it really helped me to learn that there are strong, valuable men in the world who want your friendship, that value you as a person, that care about your opinions. I have heard of Theology of the Body before, but I never really truly understood what it meant. Coming to the Newman Center, I, I started to understand that we're meant to love like God loves. And the only place that we actually will be satisfied is by coming to the church. If you view the church as a mission and this like field hospital, we are in the center of where students need us to be. And we really reach students where they need to be met in a lot of ways. It was something truly special just to see all of these youths engaging in their faith. In running a place as vibrant and fluid as this center, it takes a big team to get everything done. This semester, we offered the students internship opportunities. Through these positions, students have been able to dive deeper into their faith, take on dynamic leadership roles, and understand responsibilities as they pertain to greater servant leadership. Now I'd like you all to meet our new intern team that has helped lead this place to greatness. Living as a college student, the deepest desire is to be accepted by our parents or from our peers and society and the workforce. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, it's better to be here than anywhere else, like in this exact room. It gives you a place to not have to be perfect, not have to be number one. When I'm having a bad day, when I'm having a good day, no matter what it is, it's good to be here because all those other feelings kind of are irrelevant. Knowing that you're welcome, that on its own brings people in. The growth here at the center has just been amazing and first the attendance of our events, attendance of Mass, but also in the spiritual growth that people are making here in prayer, in attending Mass, and Bible studies, and loving God. I think the women's ministry is so important because it's really, I think, helped the women here learn that they are valuable beyond what society and social media tells them. Every Tuesday night, we spend a night, one week, learning kind of about theology or learning about women in the Bible, and then we'll spend the week after learning about a saint's life. We have been really, really diving into vulnerability about our femininity. 
The interns here, they feel very driven to serve here because I believe that they all found a home here. My faith isn't an aspect of my life. It is my life because without the faith, like nothing else matters. I only have my viewpoint on my own. And when I come here and I make these connections and these friends and these brothers and sisters, it's like, there's just so much more of God to see. You're not doing it for yourself or on your own. You're doing it with God and for God. I've heard Father Paul say this before, and at first I was dubious that people won't go to WSU for the party lifestyle because that's what it's known for, but they'll go because of this center. And at first, when he first said that, when I first moved here, I was like, oh no, Father, it's been a party school for a long time. But I am starting to believe it by the growth and by the passion and by the Holy Spirit working through here. I think that's why people will come here. Throughout this video, students have shared their wonderful and amazing experiences at St. Thomas More. I've been blessed to work with college students and adolescents, and all these young people are crying out for authentic relationship. Jesus Christ is the most authentic relationship in the midst of all our struggles. Now, I want to bring you back to the infamous day in 1941 when Pearl Harbor was bombed. From that point on, young men and women rose to fight against all odds. They were the greatest generation. I recall my grandfather, who was a young man at the time. He went home to his family brokenhearted that he could not fight. It was a badge of honor to fight. Today, we need to bring forward a generation of young men and women who are engaged in the fight for strong marriages, for vocations, for living holy, happy, and healthy lives. It's my responsibility as the bishop, and I think it's the care and concern of the entire diocese that we guide young people from the moment they begin school to their final years of graduate studies. So we provide a religious presence, a guidance, and a parish where they can come and worship pray and be supported. The Newman Center at Washington State at Pullman does that and it accomplishes, I believe, in many ways, this care and concern we have for college students and graduate students. Our hope more than anything here at St. Thomas More is that Jesus Christ and our faith as Catholics emanates throughout the students who come here. It is that hope that I'm asking each and every one of you to support. Right behind me is this amazing chapel Every single day, we have Mass. Every Sunday, we have adoration here. But it needs a little help. We need to raise $240,000. What does that do? That really covers our basic budget. That covers salaries. That covers electricity. It covers programming. We feed a lot of students. It takes care of the basic necessities. That way, that we can focus on the bigger project. That young men and young women can walk in here an encounter the living God through the power of the Eucharist, please consider making a significant donation, either online or by check. We need 200 people to give a minimum of $100 a month, but I know that any donation is greatly appreciated. What a joy it has been to share with you all that we are doing at St. Thomas More Catholic Student Center. Please pray for us that we may become what God is calling St. Thomas More to be here at WCU, a light on the hill. Thank you for joining us. And if you're ever in Pullman, Washington, you're always welcome here. Thank you for joining us tonight. God bless you and good night.